Hey, good morning, everyone. And <laughs> afternoon, whatever it is. Happy Monday. We are very excited today. We got the newlyweds, Stephen and Brittany, joining us. Yes. Woo! And we're still in uh, Isla Mujeres. Yeah. And uh, counting the minutes that we have to leave, unfortunately. We're not excited about it, so we're trying to not talk about that anymore. Um, make this a new regular stop. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, this is this has been incredible. We're so thankful that you guys invited us, and uh, you had your wedding in such a beautiful place. Yeah, it just ah, oh, I would have never known. That's perfect. And uh, it, this is like that of a, I don't know, it's like that of a postcard or a video or a dream. You're kind of like, does yeah. this really exist? Yep. And it really does. <laughs> so we've had an incredible time. We are so grateful. The Lord answered our prayers with the weather. Um, it did rain a little bit yesterday, but that was the day I said, Lord, if it needs to rain, that's <laughs> the day. It. Yep, yep. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday will work. Yeah, so, somebody did pray away 60% of rain, right? That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. That was Sarah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Can't, can't pray away 60%. You're not even trying. So uh, thank you, Lord, for that gift. Anyway, we, uh, we are honored to have you guys on and uh, just talk about it. We're talking about Luke 24 and uh, kind of the one thing that I... I wanted to share, and uh, I'll get into that here real quickly. It's just the power that you know reading scripture together has done for Sarah and I, yeah. and just for you guys, you know, to be in the Word together and just talking about it. It's powerful. Yeah, so, it is. It needs to be better. Anyway, I'm gonna pray, and we'll get us going, and then we'll just share what we got. We're doing Luke 24, and so we'll try to be as brief as we can with four of us sharing, but it'll be good either way. If you if it gets long, we're just watching two parts. <laughs> Stephen's gonna have the sun in his eyes, so we're trying to be fast too. <laughs> Anyway, so Father, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this place. Thank you for Stephen and Brittany and their, their marriage, Lord, that you brought together, Lord. It's an answer to so many prayers for so many of us. So Father, we thank you for that gift. We thank you, Lord, that uh, that we are we are all able to travel today and get back safely. Um, Lord, that um, you're, you're with us. And Lord, that you answered all of our prayers with the rain and the wedding and just everything went even better than we expected, Lord. So I'm so grateful for that. I thank you, Lord, for this time with them and uh, for your word. I ask, Lord, for your, your presence right now to come and for your word to just speak to each one of us right where we're at. And may it continue to uh, just encourage us and draw us closer to you and uh, just continue to give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Um, testimonies. I was thinking of testimonies, so typically I, I like to bless somebody. Yeah. And uh, I was just thinking of the testimonies would have been really awesome here. Is and this is what I know you were praying for? It's just that our families would unite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, That's what I was gonna say. Testimony is like the community that was created in these four days. Exactly. For sure. I, just, I was thinking about that and relationships, and uh, I've. I am part of your guys' family even yeah. more. You know? Oh yeah, you are. And so it's just been so fun to be just hanging out and spending time with people. And and uh, yesterday I had a couple great conversations with some different people in your family, mm -hmm. and uh, so fun. It yeah. is. And so it's been a real gift and just to be hanging out and relaxing. You know, it's just enjoying yeah. it together. Yeah. So anyway, that's my testimony. Yeah, I actually got confused at some point as to like, I was like, wait a minute, John and Tom are not Katie's sons, which is Steve, like it's her brothers, but his mom, yeah. because they seem so close yeah. that I was like, they, they've got to be the same. <laughs> Morning. Morning. They've got to be of the same family, but I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I know how this goes, but th that was just, is so beautiful how you guys haven't even known each other that long. A year and a half. Yeah. A yeah. year and a half. And these families have blended together so yeah. beautifully. And they truly love each other and look out for their best interests and encourage each other. It's it's great. I mean, I, I don't mean to speak for you, but I think like one of the things you said is you feel like you chose to marry me, but you are receiving like three other brothers. Yeah. You're receiving like your tribe of faith, faithful mm -hmm. men like John, Tom and Josh with the marriage of me and like you like yeah I think you express so how cool. important and how special you that stole is. my thunder on that one I'm sorry oh, okay. <laughs> the rest of your life I it all and the rest of your life <laughs> no and I and I think the, the 
not only the blending of the two families with our union, but the fact that we were able to, every person here to add something to that macrame. Yes. And yes. the bead and the roots. And I, I feel like that perfectly sums up yeah. exactly what we're talking about. Those are my intentions. Yes. So, so That's good. That's awesome. So, so good. Isn't it cool? I, you know, we serve a God of restoration. And mm. it's just, it, it's just interesting how, how he can take all that and bring it together and yeah. make yeah. it one. You know, like we, we talked about that is becoming one, but it's just the whole family is becoming one. Yeah. Right? And it's fun to listen to like some of your family just talk inside conversation about the dynamic that has maybe existed in the past yeah. yes. and how the Lord is bringing that together. Yeah. And so it's so yeah. cool. So, so cool. <laughs> anyway, um, who wants to share? Uh, what, Luke, so sometimes how we do it is like whoever's got something first. I'm at the end. Because so, okay. I know the rules, so I just picked the last chapter. I first. think I was. I know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had Luke 24 11. I had 8. <laughs> um, I think I was somewhere in 32. Uh, yeah. I'm with this guy, 32. So. <laughs> oh, you wow. Wow. Yeah. oh. Yeah, so it'll be good. Should I right. start then? So we have the same one. No, we'll be at the oh. end. So we'll let Sarah go. go. Okay, mine, it's short. So, Mine's cool. short too. Yeah, yeah, this verse is super short. So Luke 24, 8 says, Then they remembered that he had said this. And I was like really trying to figure out, okay, I gotta look, I wanna look for something in the scripture that has to do with the wedding and the marriage oh, and yeah. bringing in Stephen. And uh, so when I read, Then they remembered that he had said this. I just was thinking of how important it is to remember the words that are spoken by those that we love. And so what comes to my mind is uh, my dad's words, like before he passed away, I cherish like words of encouragement that he gave me, things that he said about what I was good at. Like I still firmly believe, like it's like a foundational belief because he said those. That's but good. then also Josh had Brittany and Steven say what they love about each other. Um, they emailed Josh and then he read it at the wedding. Did you guys know that was going to happen? Or? No, I mean, I okay. figured he was going to use it some, okay. in yeah, some yeah, yeah. format. But. So he kept it appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, that was so beautiful. And they didn't know what each other had said. I mean, obviously, you probably tell each other those things. Yeah. So you had spoken those out loud yeah. before. Yes. But it was just so wonderful. And, um, and, and they I were just, kind of the same. Yeah. yeah, in like, a lot of ways. That's what was really fun when I got to read yeah. them. Because yeah. I, I was like, oh, this is good. Because yeah. you love what he loves and just yeah. like, so cool. Yeah. yeah. And I just, it came to me like how important it is to remember these words that are spoken out of our first love. Sure. So we always talk about, even with, with Jesus, like going back to our first love. Like when did we first get saved? Like how did we felt like we were so on fire for him? Yeah. And same thing, like I think about the years that Josh and I were dating. We were very young, <laughs> 18, uh, 17, <laughs> 18. 17. And uh, mm -hmm. um, wow. just like the little things he would do, like he would write on like a napkin in his terrible handwriting and put it like under my <laughs> windshield wiper, you know, like, yeah. you, know, you know, whatever. I don't remember what, I still have all that stuff, I think. Cute. But, um, but it's just also these words that you guys spoke to each other, like how important it is to, gonna, going to be down the line to remember those words yeah. and to like write them on the tablet of your heart and know that that is the truth sure. even when like trial and disagreements come like to go oh wait 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 no i know that he loves me yeah. in this way because he said this you know yeah. Yeah. and to use that as like the foundation and the um what we call it like the law of first mention like so whatever you heard first that's what you weigh everything else against sure so um yeah and to remember that how important that first love is that I mean, with Jesus, with our spouse, you know, whatever. I mean, our, our marriage is preparation for our marriage to Christ. So right. it, yeah. it totally goes hand in hand. Um, to remember those days of pursuit throughout the entire marriage. So my application was to, it's helpful to frequently recall these words of life, instruction, love, and encouragement that somebody that we love has given us um, to write them on your heart and write them down on paper or digitally. <laughs> so you have them to refer yeah. back to. <laughs> Notes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like totally losing my voice. I know. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so go. I um, so I had 11 and mine was, but they did not believe the women because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I like listened to it a couple of times while I was getting ready this morning and then I read yeah. through it and I kept going like the disbelief you know yeah. as humans it's so easy like if I can't see it I can't believe it and um, right. just um, 
like how easy that is for for humans and then my application was that we to have faith and trust and yeah. believe in the testimonies and recognize them <laughs> so that you you grow stronger in believing in the unseen yes yep yep, yep. 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 um yeah and it's then like, my yeah. my prayer was just that like that we're continuously um, provide a testimony that we can recognize and share um, to remind us to trust in the Lord and um, thank you for opportunities to share your love as proof to others um, and please continue to use me for this beautiful purpose. Yes. Yes. Amen. I love that. Just That's very so short good. and sweet, but no, it's like the, I think it's so easy and you know, especially when people are like unsure of where they stand in their faith. Like, yeah. that's one of the biggest reasons is you can't see it yep. and exactly. it's too it's really hard to believe in something you can't see for humans yes. and it's taken years and years of learning how to see testimony in like some of the weirdest spaces of yeah. life yeah. <laughs> that's good in our own meeting right yeah. like they're like we can look back now and go all the mountains that it, like said it over and over. only God could have moved in order for us to be here today yep. in this space. That's awesome. Yeah. It's true. I love that. It's true. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a miracle. Wow. Yeah, it is a miracle. And I can remember that, right? Like, oh my gosh. We talk about it all the time. The Lord provided. I just mm -hmm. am like, wow. the prayers that yeah. we pray matter. I mean, I just, mm -hmm. out of your guys' whole journey, the prayers yeah. have just been over and over. Like, I was recalling this, you know, I'm preparing for your guys' marriage, I just was thinking of all the things that that the Lord is, we prayed and we're like, I don't see how this is going to work, <laughs> Yeah. but Lord, you do. And I actually had somebody comment on one of our pictures from a couple days ago that knew me from like four years ago, and she said, you manifested this four years ago, and here you are, and so this Aww. isn't somebody I'm close Aww. with. This is like, you know, a friend, yeah. but it's been a long time since we've connected. And she, that testimony is for her too. Yes. Because yes. she is able to recognize like, Receive holy moly, yes. I see that she wanted this. Mm -hmm. She believed in it. Yep. She prayed for she it. She prayed for it. And now here she is, she's living that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I felt like that was one of the most powerful comments that I received is just, she received it too. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yep. You're That's great good. at that, Brittany. Yeah. You walk in faith. You walk in boldness. You don't like shy back. And uh, you've been such a blessing to me because yes. when I don't believe in myself, this woman always will tell me, "Nope, go do it." And, uh, I couldn't have done it without you. And, uh, and just so it's like to That's remember good. that and uh, to be that in other people's lives. Yeah. So, like, like you just said, you have a testimony, and this man is proof of that. That you can release that over yeah. others that are doubting That's or going. So it's great. Hi, Stephen. What do we got? Yeah, so I just, you know, I feel like whatever you guys just uh, ended with right here is exactly what pulled me to this verse. Um, yeah. Because, right. because I'm in <laughs> yeah. Luke chapter uh, yeah, 24. It's a This is the good news, right? Yes. I, it's, it's, it's so easy news. to just default to, like, yeah. good news, amen, right? Yeah. Like, right. You know, but I wanted Jesus to pick something practical yeah. and something that was in my heart of, of both doing a good job and feeling like a failure at it at the same time. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, verse 32, and they said to one another, was not our heart burning within us mm -hmm. while he spoke to us in the way, while he opened to us scriptures? I was moved on how they described how moved they were mm -hmm. by this random person that they didn't realize at the time, yeah. stranger, was just speaking mm -hmm. scriptures into them mm -hmm. um, and my takeaway was we need to make that more part of our day every day yeah. Yeah. just in general conversations I don't know, we can just say bless God for this amazing day bless God for yeah. this amazing location bless yeah. God for my amazing wife and yeah. and then I think turning back into the scriptures and really leaning in and, and sharing that and like I said I I know Brittany does an amazing job at sharing her testimony and building people up. And, yeah. and also, I feel like we need to be more intentional of spending time in the Word and bringing yeah. that Word into conversations that we have every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because who yes. knows whose heart 
He's yeah. waiting for that seed. It's like, going to be fulfilled in a way time. that we had no idea. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It'll be burning inside yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yes, that's encouraging. Yeah. So that was my that was my prayer is for God to continue to speak to me, to allow me just to speak His word. Yeah. That for for people that I know needed to hear. Yeah. Yes. Word, his word. Yep. Amen. Give us boldness yeah. to do yeah, so. Yeah, I receive that too. <laughs> just continue boldness. Yeah. I um, I agree with that. I had the same same scripture, um, and how it spoke to me is that. I just was recalling times in my own life when I'm reading the scriptures, for one, it's like how it, it can, it can just all of a sudden you can feel like Jesus is talking right to you. Right. Right. You know, I just were reading these scriptures and verse, all of a sudden it's like, this one stood out to me. It's like, wow, you know, when I have those connections with the Lord and I'm spending time with him and all of a sudden my heart is burning. I'm like the emotion, the spirit comes over me. It's powerful. And I, I love how you just mentioned Stephen, how. We can do that for others too, right? Like if I bring the scriptures, just when I meet people too, and I'm like, it's like the Lord loves you. Yeah. He loves you. Like that is true. That's scripture. And when you say that over people, like they just kind of warm up like, he really loves me. Yeah. He really loves me. The God of the universe loves me. And and to share that, like you say, it's so powerful yeah. to say that stuff over because we we doubt all that stuff, Everything. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. and so that to be walking in that, I 100% agree with you, Steve, and that's what I was feeling too, is just like, I need to continue to do what we're doing, right? Like, there's been power in us reading the scripture daily, even yeah. if it's just for 15 minutes or whatever it is, it it gets inside of us, and it starts to become who, you know, who we're really called to be, Yeah. and that we can go out, and yeah, we don't have to maybe be, you know, the, the thumping I was going to say, Bible, holding right? the cross, yeah. holding the signs, I, it can be the, just kindness. It's exactly yeah, it. It's, yeah. it's the kindness. It's I always say it's hope dealers, right? Like let's just yeah. bring hope into a world that's lost. Yeah. That's that's in fear. You know, yeah. we just bring hope and encouragement and inspire people yeah. like you can do this. And I, I believe all four of us do that well. Yeah. We just we need to continue to do that and bring yeah. that. So that's my prayer. Lord, thank you. Thank you for continuing to bring us together. Thank you for your yes. words. Thank you for the power that is real that's in each right. one of us, Lord. May we continue to have courage and, and strength and uh, go out and, and share more of this good news with the world that's crying out and asking, does, does God love me? May we share that, Lord, in full confidence. And uh, may your spirit be with us and speak through us. Yeah. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, any closing remarks? Thank you, guys. No, oh, that's perfect. Right. Right. Yeah, wow. awesome. Well, we're so grateful. So I uh, wish we could stay here forever. I know. <laughs> and make it a retreat and invite everybody to, yes. to make a stop. Yeah. But Just, uh, this is the pool. This is one of two. This is yeah, one this of the is, rooms. This just, is the house we haven't shown you yet. Yeah. 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 This is the one next door. Yeah. The, the one that we're in is even larger place next door. <laughs> and cool. so, uh, <laughs> anyway. Well, we love each one of you. Um, thank you for spending time with us this morning and, uh, may the Lord bless you and, uh, have a great week. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.